Where did you think I was all this time? We have unfinished business. Scarlett, the first question will be to you. As you played oh Black Widow for 11 years. Can you talk a little bit about the narrative arc and the changes she went through uh, and, and your experience doing that? Yeah, 10 years is a long time. Um, it's hard to sum, like summarize it in a, in a quick soundbite. But, uh, you know, I think when we find Natasha in this film, she's really alone for the first time. You know, she's, she's always been a part of either a system or a team or she's, you know, worked for somebody. And um, she's never really had to kind of, you know, she's never had to really make uh, active choices for herself. You know, she's she's always participated in been in something that she was, you know, that was part of a larger whole. And, um, you know, I, I think this, when you, when, it's an interesting kind of process because when we were talking about this film, we were, ma- we were already making Endgame. And so, uh, you know, we wanted to be conscious that that, that her ultimate sacrifice felt like an active choice. Um, and that was one that she made like very in her clear mind and was like that her, she felt, um, that there was like, she had, she had her own closure with it. Uh, and it, and we, we could only get there because we were sort of already working backwards on, on this film, which was, which was that, you know, we knew that we had to make something where, um, she was able to have closure in her, in her pat with her past, um, so that she could feel like a whole person, like moving forward. Um, it's very complicated and roundabout and such a interesting way of working. I, I can never imagine any other time that I would be able to do this over a decade of time. Um, but it's been incredibly rewarding and very reflective of my own journey as a, you know, when I started the, in the MCO, I was 23 and now I'm, you know, well, I don't remember 30, whatever, my mid thirties and I have a daughter and, you know, my life is, you know, blossomed in all different kinds of ways. And uh, so has Natasha's. Florence, we talked a couple of years ago and I tried to ask you, you know, what, what's it going to be like to be part of the Marvel universe? And you said, mm. I'm not talking to you. I'm not saying anything about it. Uh, <laughs> so now we can talk about it. So what was it like for you to join uh, the MCU? I hope I wasn't that rude. That doesn't sound like me. <laughs> and then I just bopped you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> probably at that time I actually was not allowed to say anything actually I remember when we went to our first comic-con I said to Scarlett I was like so what is it that we're allowed to say at these things and I remember uh <laughs> Kevin just popping over my corner and being like nothing you can't say anything I was like <laughs> no like not even what but I can say that I'm playing Scarlett's younger sister right he was like no 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 no, don't say that I was like what I can't say anything so I'm sorry if I uh, panicked but yeah now I can <laughs> Um, what is it like to be a part of it? I feel so welcomed. I think, I think for, I think for a lot of people, like a lot of my friends that have asked me about this experience, um, they've all kind of had this idea that it's, you kind of join this machine and then you're in it and, and, um, you, you're part of it and then, and, and they make the choices. And I have to say that that has been completely opposite. Like I've, I've felt so welcomed and it's been such a warm reception, even with the fans, um and and I don't even have fans for my character yet but now I've I've been kind of like welcomed into this family and um it's it's from start to finish was such a wonderful uh collaborative creative process and just to be able to watch this lady here uh in her element um was was truly such an amazing gift um and you know the process was big and it was it was a big movie and it was scary and uh there's a lot of big shoes that I'm stepping into and I'm aware that um you know with that and with playing uh Yelena I'm I I am I'm I'm responsible but I think I've just been so uh just really excited and exhilarated and thrilled by the experience that I'm 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 so happy to be continuing that, this, this journey with, with everyone on board. Three, two, one.
I think when fans see it, they're going to be blown away by the the action in the movie is incredible. Uh, what were your two both to you both? What were your favorite uh, action scenes in the film? Oh, it has to be uh, Scarlett and I at the beginning for me, just partly because I don't know. I think how those characters come at each other was was very weirdly not similar to how we came at each other, but we barely knew each other by that point. We'd only known each other for about a week. And we had we had barely done any physical rehearsals together. We'd be, both been training on our own, but with the schedule, we hadn't. We'd only probably done like a few walkthrough rehearsals together. So for me, stepping onto that set and that being the first scene that I shot with Scarlett and um, just just quickly learning every single day. I remember I was learning. Oh, okay, so we do that for a certain amount of takes, and we do that, and we fill it in here. It was just so exciting to kind of get to know the film and get to know her in such a close proximity. Um, and just the badassness of the fight was so uh, refreshing. I don't think I've seen a female fight like that ever before. And better yet, oh my goodness, I got to be in it. And um, just how encouraging the stunts team were for for both of us to be in it was was so exciting to see how it worked. So for me, that was definitely cherry on the top of that film. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of great sequences, and I mean, obviously, the Taskmaster pursuit is pretty mm -hmm. epic. Um, you know, it's just it goes from you know a motorcycle to a car. <laughs> to a you know explosive chase through a subway i mean it's just it's pretty pretty intense and i think you feel the anxiety of it uh like it feels very um you know it feels like it's full of adrenaline i mean i, I a friend of mine had seen the film and she was like i I was anxious the whole time, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. and the movie should keep you kind of gripped like that and i think the action feels you know we we always wanted it to feel like it uh like natasha was a little off her game um this time you know she she gets there eventually and is like in her kind of finds her footing but she she's uh you know her headspace is 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 a um you know she's not she's not like she's not really all all together uh there's a lot so much happening for her emotionally and she's in such a twilight zone of a place she never thought she would go back to like when she first you know Elena first reaches out to her she's like what you know it's like she just can't believe she's going back to like she's so agitated by it in every way and so it actually affects the way she moves and you know she's 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 a little bit kind of off and I, I think that that adds to the um you know it adds to the feeling of you know, uh, yeah, it's sort of excitement when you watch it, when you watch the action sequences, because it's not like crisp, you know, it's it's a dirty, like dirty fighting. And I, I think it, it, it looks really great. It's fun.